Hi everyone, today is grocery shopping day. It's been almost a month since we last did our grocery shopping. And today I'm bringing my mom and she's so excited. I don't usually bring her to the grocery stores because of this pandemic, but today she's coming and uh, like I said, she's excited to get out of the house and to check the, the new normal out there and just see how it is. So let's go. We dropped by her bank first here in the U.S., we basically use the ATMs for our transactions. Banks will only allow customers with appointments. You have to call the bank way ahead to book that appointment. I see less staff manning the bank, so I'm sure there's some reduction of workforce going on, uh, especially on the bigger banks. Some branches are closed, so you really have to call the appointment. No question this pandemic brings a sea of operational changes for the banks here in the U.S. Next stop was grocery shopping at ShopRite, our favorite supermarket here in Norwalk. We like this store due to its vast selections of seafood items. We love seafood. I was, but I was so happy to see that the shelves at the supermarket were well stocked, especially the essentials. Food items like fruits, vegetables, seafood, meat products, bread, and others. Also, there were ample supplies of sanitary products, emergency items, and yes, toilet paper. Lots of toilet paper. Yay! Definitely no signs that people are buying to hoard stuff at home. So this is a good sign. Kudos to the farmers, the suppliers, the manuf manufacturers, the delivery people for ensuring adequate supply of these basic needs. One thing I noticed though, there were not a lot of people at the supermarket, only about 20, 25 the most, and it was a Saturday. Usually there are a lot of people shopping during the weekends. And also it was a peak time. It was between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. That's usually um, the time that there are a lot of people shopping. But, um, you know, like I said, there was not a lot of people there. No question, this crisis is affecting a lot of businesses and people, the way people shop. I visited our mall here at Norwalk and it was empty. Only about six to eight people there, usually on weekends. There are a lot of families and kids hanging out and just having fun. But it was quiet and somber. It did not look like a mall. The couple of restaurants that were open were pretty empty. It's kind of sad. I also visited the library here in Norwalk. And to my surprise, it was still closed. I just went there the other day. The lady said that they've been closed to the public since the start of the pandemic. You can go online to borrow books and videos and pick up the items at the library. There were people there trying to get in to use the library computer but were sent away. The library uh, is one of my husband's and daughter's favorite places to go. They both loved to read. When Carmela was younger, both her and my husband were always at the library. This is our new normal for attending Mass. We stay in our cars. We just step out the car for a few minutes just to get our communion. We have one Mass uh, inside the church on Sundays to accommodate those who really want to attend Mass inside the church. I'm hoping that someday all Masses will be held inside the church because it's different. It really is different when you're inside. I had time to spare after I dropped my friend at her doctor's office, so I went and drove around to check public parks, museums, beaches, and same thing, not a lot of people, quiet and missing the sounds of people laughing and talking and the sights of kids having fun, playing games. It felt different, disappointing, but we have to face reality. This is indeed the new normal. We either face it or deny it. So let's do our part, let's keep each other safe and be kind to each other.
just got back from grocery shopping and I intended to wear this mask because this will be the new normal. I believe that will be for a long time that we'll be wearing masks uh, when we're outside and especially in public places. So checking the new normal at the banks today, the supermarket, library, the mall, public parks, museums, and beaches. Reality is sinking in that things are changing a lot and will be continuing for years to come as a result of this pandemic crisis. I honestly don't like it, but we have to face what's in front of us. We can't predict the future, but we need to be cognizant of the realities and be ready to adapt to meet the changing times ahead. With this also comes hope, faith, kindness, and love. Yes, love. We need it more than ever. So together, we can do this, and we can move forward in positive ways.